Hey everyone, welcome back to the app, Alkaline Vegan Eats, where you can get all your health and nutritional information. Remember, health is wealth, and without it, you have nothing. Um, thank you for joining me again in taking the steps to transitioning to a better, healthier lifestyle and hopefully an alkaline lifestyle. Remember, nothing good happens overnight. It is something that takes time. This is your transition. And as long as you're trying, that's all that matters. How are you guys? I have missed you guys. Um, it's been forever. I know, my fault. Um, first off, please excuse the get up. I just got back from the gym and I said, you know what? I have to just sit down and do this video because it's been a long time and I've been promising that it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, and then I don't get here. But I honestly have just been enjoying life, loving and living life to the fullest. So I've just been busy. Um, but, you know, I put a couple of things on the back burner as far as these videos. But the one thing I haven't is put my health on the back burner. I'm still making sure I'm taking care of myself. And I hope you guys have been too. So today I'm coming to you um, on a video about gas, flatulence, okay? And um, uh, many people don't want to talk about it. Every time I talk about this topic to someone, um, people laugh. But it can be a real issue for a lot of people. Uh, people don't realize you should only pass gas maybe about no more than 10 times a day. That's the norm. Whether it's through um, belching or it's through passing gas out the rear. Uh, but there are people out there that have what we call excessive gas that, you know, is passing gas all day long, um, having stomach pains or stomach cramping, bloating, and um, just not feeling their best selves. And again, anytime we're not feeling our best selves, our body is trying to inform us that something isn't right. Something is going on and it is reacting to what's happening. So what is gas? What is flatulence? What is it? Basically, it is an imbalance um, in your digestive tract, in your stomach, in the acidity levels and, and alkal alkalinity levels of your stomach acid. And um, it, it's basically an imbalance because you have too much uh, complex sugars or carbohydrates, too many carbohydrates and sugars inside your digestive tract, inside your stomach, and your body cannot A, recognize it and cannot break it down. And so I want to talk to you about some things that of what you can do to correct that and how it affects you when you may think, okay, well, I'm just gassy. Um, you know, it's no big deal. By tomorrow, I'll be okay. But it could be leading to a bigger problem down the road. So basically, gas is a food intolerance. So whatever it is that you're putting in your body, your stomach, your body is not tolerating it. It's, uh, you know, alerting, saying, what is this? I don't understand where is this coming from? Why is it here? So it is a food intolerance and it causes, um, basically, the, the body cannot break down these carbs that you're putting in. So most of the time when you have complex sugars, um, the carbohydrates from all of your non-alkaline foods, which would be your, you know, potatoes, your rice, your beans, um, you have your cabbage, broccoli, um, anything, uh, um, let's see, French fries, uh, processed foods, any of those things that are high in sugars, high in carbohydrates, they have complex carbohydrates. And even in some things that you buy in the store, if, I'm hoping everyone's reading labels. And if you are, you will see on the back where it says added sugar. Never buy anything that has added sugar. You want to use whatever natural sugars it comes with, that's it. Never buy anything but added sugar because those added sugars, again, along with the man-made carbohydrates or our hybrid uh, vegetables or fruits, they the body doesn't recognize any of them. They're synthetic. They're not real. They're not natural. They're not bringing any nutrients to you. Um, so basically, if the foods are high in fructose um, or sorbitol acid, that is what's causing this gas. This is what's causing um, your stomach to feel the way it does. It's, it's, it's not able to break it down. It's basically the stomach can't break it down. The bacteria in your stomach is unbalanced and are imbalanced. And so what it does is the, it just passes the food along. It can't break it down. It just passes it up, passes the food along and it goes through your digestive tract into your colon. And this is why you, along with gas, usually feel bloated. It's because that food, it's a buildup of food that basically turns into a lump of sugar 
and it starts to ferment. And so anything that's fermented, you do not want in your system um, because fermenting is uh, just think of it as mold. It's just sitting there and it's rotting away. And that's what's happening with these sugars that are inside your intestines, inside your colon, that it's just sitting there and rotting away. A lot of people have anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds of extra weight just because of foods and toxic buildup that's just sitting in their colons. This is why it's very important to make sure you're using the bathroom every single day as far as um, going number two. Um, and so you're making sure you're flushing those toxins out, you're getting it out your body. And if you're not, you're doing some type of detox or colon cleanse. So that way you can get that stuff out of your system. You wanna look at it this way. If you are leaving all of that food and all that toxic waste in your body, it's just basically your back. It's like a backed up septic system and it's not going to turn out pretty for you. you as that food is sitting there and um, those, those sugars are fermenting and that toxic waste is fermenting, um, it's stealing minerals from your body. So it's almost like you're having, you're letting burglars come in and they continue to come in, but instead of letting them leave, you lock the door and you keep them in there. So they're holding on to your valuables, which is your minerals, which is your nutrients that you need for your body. So this is why when you have you know, that excessive gas, you don't feel right and you have that bloating. It just doesn't feel good because it's not good. Again, these are anytime you have any type of uh, reaction or you don't feel well, your body is trying to signal to you something is not right. Not only that, as these things are sitting there, it's building acidity and your body is building inflammation. Your body starts to react now and looks at it as um, a foreign substance that they need to fight off now. So all your little army men inside are going to start building up. You're going to start building acidity because um, that acid or that mucus is going to start coming to basically take out it's going to cover up that toxins, the toxins, but it wants to take it out, but there's nowhere for it to go. Especially if you're constipated, it's not going anywhere. It's just in there. So the best thing you can do is eat tons of fruit. Um, I know you were saying fructose, fruit does have fructose, but it's a different kind of fructose, okay? You have, if you're eating alkaline fruits and alkaline vegetables, those are natural minerals that your body recognizes it's high in fiber those are going to help flush your system out your body is going to recognize it and know where to put those sugars and and how to break it down when you're eating unnatural uh, carbs, unnatural uh, fruits and vegetables your body has no idea what to do with them and like I said this results back into that buildup and so what happens is when we do have fructose that fructose is converted into the liver and it's it converted into glucose. It goes by the liver. It's converted into glucose. And then that is what it has to turn into before it can be used by the body. So what happens is that these, these, this fructose is not being absorbed. It's not being recognized. It's never being converted by the liver. And so the body is never absorbing this glucose. And so that's what happens with um, a lot of, uh, especially vegans who eat a lot of carbs, unnatural carbs, is that this malabsorption of this glucose then turns into fat. And so you're going to see, you will see a lot of vegans, and I know a few that are obese or that are overweight or that are heavy and can't understand why because they don't eat meat, but then they're eating everything else that they shouldn't be eating um, as far as unnatural carbohydrates, hybrid fruits and vegetables. What happens is, is that, again, all of that sugar is not being broken down by the liver. It then it is not being absorbed by the body because it's not turned into glucose that the body recognizes. And then so therefore all of that gets stored as fat in the body. And so therefore you start putting on weight. And again, you can't understand why am I putting this weight on when I don't eat any meat or I am exercising. But that remember, all of that glucose, all that sugar has nowhere to go. It has nowhere to go. It's stuck. And so the whole point is you want to eat Again, alkaline fruits and vegetables, high in fiber, that is going to cleanse your body out. It's going to flush your system out so that way you don't have that issue. It's going to keep your digestive tract and your stomach acids um, neutral or balanced. And then that way you don't have gas. You won't, you know, pass, you know, excessive gas. You won't have that bloating, bloated feeling. You won't have stomach pain or cramping because you're able to flush your system. And it, again, it's all about balance. 
You may have an off day where you eat something that you're not supposed to, but you make sure the next day you get right back on eating whatever you are supposed to, because then what you are supposed to be eating is going to flush out whatever you shouldn't have eat. So that way, you know, your body can stay regulated. It's all about balance. I always tell you, think of your body as a swimming pool, a chlorinated swimming pool. Your chlorine levels have to be perfect. If they are too high or they are too low, you're going to have an issue. If you have too much um, chlorine, it is, it's for your, you know, obviously you can't go swimming in a swimming pool with too much chlorine because it's just going to burn the heck out of everything. And if you have not enough chlorine, you're going to have algae and dirt and you're going to have all kinds of buildup inside that pool that you don't even want to go swimming. So you want to have that balance where the pool is just right. Same thing for your body. Your body is just right. It can't have, you know, be too alkaline, but it can't be acidic either. You want to have that perfect balance. It's all about balance. Um, also, some other things that you may want to take a look at is as far as um, your type 2 diabetes, your heart disease, your cancer, um, fructose contributes to those things, contributes to those diseases. So again, if you are diabetic, um, if you uh, have had cancer, have cancer, um, any type of heart disease, you want to cut back on those unnatural carbohydrates. You know, a lot of people think heart disease is just off of um, cholesterol and just off of eating, you know, meat and animal product. But no, it can be linked to the carbohydrates too. So you want to cut back on those and eventually rule those out and see if you can lean more to a, a whole fruit and whole vegetables, where you're, which are going to be your alkaline fruits and vegetables. And you have your ancient grains, which are alkaline for your body. So that way you don't um, contribute to those, those issues. Um, your fructose raises cholesterol. So believe it or not, again, this is going back to all of my um, uh, patients who have heart disease. You know, it does, fructose sugars do play a part. It accumulates around the organs because remember, again, all of this fructose that's in your body, it cannot be absorbed. It doesn't know where to go. So it starts to hang around your organs, hang around your heart, hang around your lungs, you know, all of these things to the point where, again, it's blocking your lungs, it's blocking your heart, it's blocking your organs from receiving any type of nutrients that you do bring in by eating, you know, vegetables or by eating fruits. So you want to make sure, cut back on those sugars, cut back on those carbs. A lot of people don't realize how much carbs affect everything not you know it's not just the animal product alone but carbohydrates that are complex that are difficult that are not recognized by the body it is very detrimental to your health um it, the, now again with this it can increase uh your high if you have high blood pressure that is another issue usually hypertension or high blood pressure uh, coincides a lot of people will also have diabetes at the same time because again it has to do with these sugars it's too much sugar in the body too much fructose um, and glucose that the body cannot break down and therefore cannot absorb and cannot flush out it's just sitting in your body and so a lot of times with sugars especially white sugars and even brown sugar um, a lot of people have made the mistake of thinking okay brown sugar is better than white sugar because it's not bleached no it does the same thing it's still acidic to your body and so usually to, for your body to break down any of the, the, especially white sugar, you need about four pancreases to break that down. Well, you only have one. So think about the overload of what your body is going through when you need four times of something, but you only have one and you keep packing in these carbs, these uh, complex sugars, you keep packing them in every day. So just remember that, that again, gas can be linked to something way bigger. Excessive gas, bloating, um, stomach pain, cramping, all of that can be linked to something way bigger than it just being, oh, this is just gas, and like just, you know, brush it off. Pay attention to your body, listen to your body. It is trying to inform you and tell you, hey, I need help, something is going on in here, something is imbalanced, and that we gotta get back on track. So. I don't want to talk too long. I missed you guys. I love you guys. And I will be back with more videos. Love you.